This is everything you need to know to plan an irrigation system. Hey, my name's Caleb. Having an irrigation system in your garden will not only help with watering your fruits, plants and veggies, but it will save you time. Let's get into it. Right off the bat, I highly recommend drawing a plan of your garden and lawn areas. This will help you to determine the type of irrigation needed for your space. Some key things to put in your plan are identify water supply access, areas that need irrigation, power supply, and identify structures that can get wet or are in the way. There's so many options when it comes to the type of irrigation systems which suit your garden and lawn areas. For example, drips, sprayers, or pop-up irrigation systems. When it comes to spray and pop-up irrigation, each sprinkler should have a minimum of 50% spray overlap to ensure all areas are watered properly. When it comes to drip systems, space your tubes 30 centimeters apart to ensure there are no dry patches in your soil, which will prevent root growth. Next, we wanna test our water pressure. The reason we do this is because if we have a high pressure flow, we'll need to add a pressure reducer to our tap. To test your water pressure, the most accurate method is to use a pressure gauge and attach it to your hose faucet. However, you can also use a manual technique. To do this, measure the time in seconds it takes to fill up your 9 litre bucket with your tap at full pressure. Then using the size of the bucket, which in our case was 9 litres, divide the seconds it took to fill the bucket and multiply by 60. Lastly, think about which tap timer best suits your garden. There are many options, solar, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or manual. This is all a personal preference. And there you have it, all the steps it takes to plan out your irrigation system. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks.